to leave the floor after three minutes, and we are in a hurry, so we are starting right now, basically. So the gentleman at the very bottom, please, front row, yes. Please. If you... Daniel. Hi coach, how are you doing? This is Javier Aparicio, Radio 10 Multivision. I wanted to know how you are dealing with the qualification, the different changes that you can make. How do you assess this? Because maybe there could be a study in 11 that could be confirmed. Are you still analyzing it? And what is the situation from Angel Di Maria? Good afternoon, everyone. As you will understand, yesterday we were recovering. That was the case for most of the players. There were other players who didn't play many minutes, but they were also in this recovery phase. So yesterday, the training was about thinking of the upcoming match. We were analyzing Australia, and now we will have a training session this afternoon, and then we will see it in a clearer way. We will see how players are doing. We will see how they are recovering, not only Angel Di Maria, but also other players. And then we will make a decision and the starting 11 to face Australia tomorrow. It's Mark Schwarzer here from Optus Sport Australia. I um, just want to ask a question. In football, there's always pressure, but for Argentina in a World Cup, the, the pressure is huge, let alone when you're playing against an opponent that is inferior to you and you're expected to win. How do you approach the game? Yes, the opponent, whether they are inferior or not, well, we need to see that. I don't fully agree. They are a good team, and this is football. It is 11 versus 11. It is, this is the reality. So we need to leave aside the favorites, and we need to play the game. And about the setup, the system, well, we will have a similar system. We will have some changes. Perhaps we know they have good players. We will try to have our best play, as we did in the previous matches. We will try to be in control for most of the minutes, and that's our idea for the Coach game. Coach Sam McClure from uh, 3AW Radio in Australia. Thanks for taking the question. You said earlier in the press conference that you had analysed Australia. What have you found, without giving away secrets, and, and who do you think their most dangerous player going forward is? Yes, they have good players in the right wing, the forwards, midfielders with wide experience. They are playing in high levels. And especially, they are a team. That's what I can say. And when you are facing a team, it is always difficult. And by team, I mean a national team with players who know what they want. And that is always difficult. This is Gustavo from Todo Noticias. What do you think about the VAR in this World Cup? Because now we have the technology. And in the previous matches, maybe you were talking about the VAR, the offside with Argentina. And yesterday, there was a very particular situation in a match. And of course, VAR can be helpful or not, depending on the result. I don't know what you think. I don't know if you had the opportunity to see that goal from Japan. What do you think about that VAR result? Well, I think the same that Luis Enrique said and the other coaches, the first images are quite clear. But then if you analyze it with millimeters, you see what is going on in this World Cup. But there is nothing else to say. We faced that situation, we lived that, and it is difficult to digest, especially because this is something very new for us. And this is happening in a World Cup right now. It is being implemented in a World Cup. So this is especially surprising. If we had had the time, as it happened with the VAR, then 
it is updated and you get used to it. But this was very sudden. We had one month, some tests before these matches. But look, this is what we have. This is for everyone. But yes, it's like having a line very millimetrical. Before we take, sorry, before we take the next question, please, we kindly ask the photographers to leave the room. Thank you. In a nice and gentle way. Thank you very much. We take the next question, please. Leo, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Alejandro Magdaleno del Diario. This is Alejandro Magdaleno from Diario La República, San Luis. You said that teams play against Argentina in a different way. Do you think that tomorrow's game will be different? That Australia will be offering something different compared to the previous games? And what is your message? Argentina is very excited with this team. How do you see that? Entendemos que sí que que cambian algunos algunos Yes, maybe national teams can change certain things, how they play, not 100% of the way they play, but sometimes that happens and it is positive for every national team because you know that you can be hurt and you try to adapt. That's what we do as well. In attack, we always try to do the same thing, to follow the same philosophy. Sometimes defensively we change depending on the opponent, when the opponent has a different system. But Australia has a very clear way in the attack, and I don't think they will modify that. They will have their own system when we have the ball. And my message for my Argentinian fans, well, what we've been doing and what we've been saying all along. We will break our backs on the pitch in this World Cup. We will be there to compete. Of course, we know how difficult this World Cup is. And in the end, this is football. We saw that yesterday. We've been seeing that in previous games. And for me, this is not surprises. These are not surprises. It is true that when you talk about big national teams, you think that they should all deserve to be in the next phase, but sometimes that doesn't happen because there are teams very well prepared and in a certain moment of the game, everything is turned around and then that's what happens in football. This is Ezequiel Suárez, Diario Compromiso. Coach, you were saying that there won't be a change in the system, but you were talking about subtleties. Do you think there will be any change in the upcoming match? I don't know. We need to see that in the training. I need to see how my players are doing. We are always thinking of how to face the opponent with the best players, with the ones that we think are the best players for that specific match. I will do an assessment. We more or less have an idea on how we will play tomorrow. And in today's training, it won't be that clear because we still need to have one day to have some rest and the rest is crucial for us. So then we will make a decision. In Australia, in English, um, were you at all surprised that Australia beat Denmark? Yes or no, can you explain your reasoning? Are you Australian? Were you also surprised with this win? Were you also surprised because Australia beat Denmark? No, a mí no me sorprende. Well, I wasn't surprised, honestly, because they are a good national team. They had a good qualifying campaign. They were the fourth in the qualifying campaign. And then they were able to qualify for this World Cup in the repechage. They are a good national team. They have tradition in World Cups, and that makes them difficult. We don't need to be overly confident. We need to try to play our best football, and then we'll see what happens. Yes, the gentleman over there. Yes, raising his hand. Thank you. ESPN, I'd like to ask you about the people here, people supporting you in the stadium. And because last day you play with a stadium with half of the capacity of the previous two stadia. And does this help you to feel finally as a home team 
especially if you play tomorrow with 45,000 supporters or seats. Well, I think the support has always been there. Argentinian fans always come in great numbers. And uh, if we are talking about a stadium that is full at 80 or 90 percent with Argentinians, then you feel it even more. We are always grateful as the feeling, the environment is beautiful and they're also enjoying watching the national team. I hope tomorrow we can be similar to uh, the match against Poland because we felt like playing back in Argentina. Yes, please. No, 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 lo siento. Gentlemen. Mahmoud Abdullah, in Mosri, Mahmoud from Ain Ekhbari, my question to the coach. You have lost against Saudi in your first game, and it's an Asian uh, team. And then you will play with another Asian team in the round of 16. Your comments, would the actually match be difficult, the upcoming match be difficult for you after your loss against Saudi Arabia? Yes, it will be difficult, but not because they are playing in Asia, but because they are a good national team. That, was, uh, that goes in a similar vein to my previous reply. It will be a tricky game, it's a World Cup game. And uh, the stage group is, the group stage is over. And I hope we will to Por fine. TNT Sports. De Paul spoke about the flank players of Australia that you've scouted the opponent and I would like to ask you about two important players taking into consideration what we were talking about, the physical uh, uh, condition of uh, Angel Di Maria and my question is whether is whether you're going to gamble with Angel Di Maria and what's the situation of Acuña? Well, you know more than I do. I didn't know that uh, 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 that uh, Di Maria had a contracture. Well, he had felt some discomfort, but contracture, that's a new word. That's a different word. Probably you have more information than I do. Now, Seriously. Let's wait for today and for tomorrow. Last day, I said that even though it might seem absurd, Australia played at 6 p.m. being second, and we played at 10 being first. We went to bed at 4 a.m. And that has an impact, especially when you have a game in 48 hours. So yesterday, it was all about recovery, being with the family, and today is when we will have a clear picture on Di Maria. He's feeling fine, he was off because he had a yellow card, and we didn't want to gamble, and we also have full trust in Tagliafico. But Angel Di Maria, well, we hope that he will be fine and uh, that he's able to play. But I can tell you at the moment, as we don't have a clear picture, we could wait up until tomorrow. We'll the last two questions. Gentlemen in the middle, please. Lionel, acá Julián Martín para Radio 2 de Rosario. Julián Martín, Radio 2, Rosario, Argentina. We always say that the team uh, becomes uh, better with uh, matches. And do you think that after Poland and uh, that you finally have the team, uh, the final team, even, even though if you can include some changes. Well, if you follow the national team, you know that I don't uh, always play the same players. I focus on every single match and I adapt the team to every match. So. Uh, very rarely have I repeated the same starting 11. It could be an option, but I can tell you at the moment, it is true that the feeling I had from the team was really good. Also in the second half against Mexico, especially after we scored. And what's important is that everyone knows what they need to do and people and players coming on to the pitch 
uh, have that feeling and it's good that also sub players improve the performance of the team on the pitch and we go match by match and we don't always play with the same team if it's not necessary. Last question. Diego Corolla. We know about the craziness that Argentina is feeling at the moment as they are supporting the team. What do you think they feel? For example, yesterday we saw a tweet from the AFA thanking Bangladesh. What do you feel when you learn that other countries feel this World Cup with as much passion as Argentinians do? And then when you leave, I have something for you. Well, I will accept uh, what you are giving me from Pujato. Well, regarding the feeling, uh, the feeling that uh, uh, for many years before we had Diego, now Messi, and always across the globe, there was uh, people were crazy about the Argentinian colors and the Argentinian passion and the Argentinian fans. And we are proud that a country such as Bangladesh roots for Argentina, as many other countries do. And we will try to give our utmost and always being aware that this is football and and also it's all about the way we play. Uh, you can we must play like the last like last day but then many things can happen but the feeling was good our sensations were good and that is what we are aiming for so thanks to the people of bangladesh thank you just before we, we tomorrow. leave the floor please have, as a reminder now guys 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 now guys